Hello friends, welcome to our channel Piping Mantra. For today's video, we are going to discuss about types of pipe fitting. So, without further ado, let's get started quickly. Now, why do we need fittings? Pipe fittings are used to make the piping system flexible and complete for branching off connection, change in direction and size reduction. There are different ways by which fittings can be classified like material, pressure temperature rating and end connection. In this video, we are going to briefly discuss about end connections which are butt weld end as per ASME B16.9 and BS1640. To connect this kind of fitting, pipe should have beveled end for welding. Socket weld end as per ASME B16.11 and BS3799. These are available up to 4 inch sizes only. To connect this kind of fitting, pipe should have plain end for welding. Threaded end As per B16.11 and BS3799, these are available up to 4 inch size only. To connect this kind of fitting, pipe should have companion threaded end for joining. Like for female threaded end fitting, pipe should have male threaded end. Flange end as per ASME B16.5, BS1650 and ASME B16.1 for cast iron. Pipe should have companion flanges. Like for raised face flange end, pipe should have raised face flange. Now let's quickly move on to our first fitting which is an elbow. An elbow is used to change the pipe direction in 45 and 90 degrees. Now, 90 degree elbows are available in two types, short radius elbow and long radius elbow. Long radius elbow has bend radius of 1.5D, where D is the nominal size of pipe. These elbows represent in piping material specification as LREL. It is used because the pressure drop is less compared to the short radius and thus pipe rigidity will be reduced. Short radius elbow has bend radius of 1D. These are represented in piping material specification as SREL. 45 degree elbow have bend radius of 1.5D. It is used for vertical and horizontal hop offsets to save the cost instead of using 90 degree elbow. 45 degree elbow have more pressure drop than the 90 degree elbow. Now 22.5 degree elbows are also available in cast iron construction but these are not used majorly. We have 90 degree reducing elbows also. It is used to change the direction and to change the pipe size at the same time. Now let's discuss about mitre bends. Any bend with more than 1.5D bending radius has to be made as per requirement. For large diameter piping, bends are fabricated at site by profile cutting of pipes and are called as mitre bends. These are normally not used in critical services. Mitre bends with 2-piece, 3-piece, 4-piece or 5-piece construction can be made. It should not exceed 5-piece since more number of joints will create problem. Like elbow, here also we have 90 degree and 45 degree mitre bends. Soon, you will see the video on how to calculate mitre angle for pipe pieces. Till then, please stay tuned and please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, so that you can get all the notifications of our, all our upcoming uploads and stay connected. As we have seen already, standard elbows have 1.5D or 1D of pipe as their bend radius. There are specially purchased bends which have more than or equal to 3D pipe as bending radius. Like 3D, we have elbows with 5D, 10D and in some cases up to 15D bend radius. These are usually used in viscous and slurry services like paint, chemical chips flowing through pipes etc. This fitting is also called heat induction bend or cold fold bends. These have less friction losses as compared to standard 90 degree elbows. Now let's understand this better using an example. Let's calculate the radius of 5D bend for 4 inch pipe. It would be 5 times the OD of pipe which is 114.3 mm for 4 inches pipe. So the radius would be 114.3 into 5 that is 571.5 mm. There is one more type of elbow that is street elbow. It is same as any regular elbow but the difference is the gender of two ends connection. A regular elbow has a hub or female connection on both the ends so that it can join two male end pipes. However, 
Street elbow has female fitting at one end and male fitting at the other end. It is mainly used in plumbing and HVAC applications. It is not permitted to use these elbows as they make pipe alignment difficult. Now, let's discuss about other pipe fittings other than elbows. One such fitting is 180 degree return. The 180 degree return changes the direction through 180 degree. This is mainly used in heating coils, heat exchangers, etc. These are available in 1.5D and 1D band radius. This fitting is also called heat induction band or cold cold bands. This greatly reduces water hammering effect and is used where pressure drop is critical. Now, let's look at T's. T's are used for branching of connection from main pipe. There are two types of T available, equal T and reducing T. Equal T is also known as straight T. It is used to have same size branch connection as that of the header. As you can see on your screens, all the three ports have 4 inch connections. Now, reducing T is also called as unequal T. It is used to have different size of branch connection from the header. The different size should be lower than that of the header. As you can see on your screens, two header ports have 4 inch connections, while branch is having 2 inch connection. Reducing T's available in market are one size lesser than the half of the main header. Like least size of reducing T available for 6 inches NPS is 6 into 2 1 by 2 as half of main header 6 inches is 3 inch and lesser to that one size is 2.5 inches. For low pressure services, branching off is done by direct welding of branch pipe to the header pipe instead of using a standard T. There are two methods of doing this properly, that is making sure we make the branch without any leakages. First is tub on. It is made by making a hole in the header whose diameter is equal to the branch pipe ID and welding the branch and header together. You can see some examples of this on your screens. Second is tub ends. It is made by making a hole on the header whose diameter is equal to the branch pipe OD and welding the branch and header together. You can see some examples of this on your screens. You can clearly see the branching difference in stub in and stub on cases on your screens. The next fitting is cross. It is used to have two branches connect at the same point on the header. It is basically a four-way fitting. This fitting is very rarely used in piping system. There are two types of cross like T, straight or equal cross. It has header and branch connections of the same size. Second is reducing cross which has a smaller size branch connection from longer size connection. It is preferable to use T's except where space is restricted as in marine piping. Now let's talk about widely used fitting that is reducers. It is used to join two pipes of different sizes having same end connection. There are two types of reducers available. First is concentric reducer, commonly denoted as CONC reducer in isometric and PNID. It is used when we have to maintain same elevation for center line of larger and smaller pipe. It is used in vertical lines, pump discharge and in upstream and downstream of control valves in some cases. Second is eccentric reducer commonly denoted as ECC reducer in isometric and PNID. It is used when we have to maintain one of the outer surfaces of pipelines at same level. As per orientation of outer surface of eccentric reducer further divide as flat on bottom FOB or flat side down FSD. It is used to maintain same bottom of pipe elevation and in rack and pumps handling slurry services. Second is flat on top FOT or flat side up FSU. It is used to maintain top of pipe at same elevation and is used at the suction of pump to avoid cavitation of pump and in upstream and downstream of control valves mostly. Next one is cap. It is used to close the end of the pipe either by butt weld, socket weld or threaded connection. The cap has female thread. The other end connection would be plug. It is also used to close the open end of a pipe component like half coupling or valve by threaded connection below 2 inches. Plugs have square, hexagonal and circular heads. In function, it is similar to cap but plug has male threaded end while cap has a female threaded end. Now, let's have a look at unions. Unions are used in low pressure piping where dismantling of the pipe is required frequently. 
it is used as an alternative to flange union can be of threaded end or with socket welded end there are three pieces in a union two end pieces to be attached to the rung pipe and the third threaded piece to connect these two this wall type metal seating ensures sealing let's discuss about for nipples a nipple is a short piece of pipe usually defined with different end connections like plain both end plain one end threaded both end threaded one end beveled both end beveled one end and combination like one end plain and one end threaded the length of the nipple is usually specified by the overall length including thread it is usually available in 3 inches 4 inches and 5 inches sizes the next one is coupling it is used to join two pipes by threaded or socket welded connection three types of couplings are used globally full coupling it is used to join two threaded or welded pipes by threaded or socket welded connection respectively second is half coupling it is used to have socket welded or threaded branch connections from big core headers third is reducing coupling it is used to join two pieces of different sizes by socket welded or threaded connection after connecting coupling maintain the pipe center line at same elevation now comes stub end to reduce the cost of piping stub ends are used with backing flange for flange joining when exotic materials are used in piping it is used to connect loose flanges in the piping there are two types of stub ends based on size that is short stub and long stub end and the other two types based on class that is class a with radius and class b without radius at corner as you can see on your screens and it can be used with slip on flange while selecting proper stub end we must ensure that we have sufficient clearance between weld of pipe to stub end and the flange now let's talk about special fittings by mss that is manufacturing standardization society first is swage nipples that is mss sp97 swage nipples are like reducers only but are used to connect butt welded pipe to smaller threaded or socket welded pipe likewise reducer swages are also available in two types eccentric and concentric various combinations of end connections are possible in swage nipples like pbe plain both end ple plain large end pse plain small end ble beveled large end tse threaded small end but more conveniently larger end should have beveled end and smaller end would be plain or threaded now next one is oled fittings that is mss sp95 oleds are used for making branch connections they are used where standard t is not available due to size restriction and due to critical or high pressure services we can't use stub in or stub on pipe directly so we use oleds now there are number of types of oleds available like weld oled it is used to have a butt welded branch connection socolet it is used to have a socket welded branch connection thread oled it is used to have a threaded branch connection sweep oled it is similar to a weld oled with the difference that it is weaker than a weld oled strength wise it has an integrally reinforced pad for butt welded branch connections next is elbow oled it is used to have branch connections at the elbow it is used to have branch connections when there are space constraints it is used to insert instruments in small size pipes and to draw condensate from stream lines and also used for temperature gauge arrangement below 3 inch pipes it is also available in socket end and threaded end next is lateral oled it is used to have a 45 degree branch connection as many of us must have seen in flare lines psv discharge tapping are connected at 45 degree that is by a lateral oled it is also available in socket end and threaded end next is nipple oled it is similar to a thread oled but has a combination of weld oled and nipple with external thread only fittings can be connected on branch side of a nipple oled but not pipes it is used for pressure indicator temperature indicator and other instrument connections now comes weldo flange or nipple flanges it is used to have flange branch connections it is a combination of weld oled nipple and weld neck flanges on your screen you can see different combinations of elbow oled lateral oled along with nipple flange so that is it guys for today's video soon we will come back with another interesting topic so stay tuned till then if you have any queries or doubts please write to us in comment section below also please send us some love and like 
share and subscribe also please click on that bell icon so that you can get all the notifications on our all upcoming videos so till next time bye bye take care